G'day Ziggy D here, back with another Path of Exile guide. In this video today I want to talk about how to get started with the endgame map system. If you're new to Path of Exile and don't really understand what the map system is all about, then I'll put a link in the description below to a video where I basically explain what the system is and what maps are and how they work, and I show off an endgame map. But in this video I want to talk about building your base, building up that initial stockpile of 66 maps, and then starting your progression throughout the maps system, because I think the start is uh, pretty important and uh, I've learned from my mistakes uh, what is the correct and incorrect way to go about getting started with the map system. So, the uh, end game map system doesn't actually begin with you starting to play 66 maps. It actually starts with building up that stockpile of 66s first. So when you're playing through Cruel and, uh, well sorry, when you're playing through Merciless, even in Act 2, and when you start farming in Act 3, you're going to start seeing the occasional 66 map drop. However, what you get from just progressing through the game at this point won't really be enough to build yourself a solid base of maps. We want quite a few 66s before we get started. So, the, way, the best way that we're, I've discovered post patch 1.0.0 to uh, start building up that base of maps is actually to do piety runs. So, we'll open up the uh, map here and hopefully switch over to this screen here. Here's what the Act 3 Merciless progression looks like. When you first come into Act 3, likely you're not going to be able to go straight to docks. So you're probably going to farm City of San for a while. Sure, you might get some 66s in there, but mostly you're just going to be getting some XP. Then, the next step is to take is to go to docks and farm here until you have good enough gear and are a high enough level to uh, go in and effectively do Lenaris farming. So you want to get capped to resist, you want to get your life and energy shield up high enough, and you want to make sure that you know that you're a reasonable level at least level 65, uh, probably closer to level 69 in most instances I think before start people, people start really seriously doing Lunaris Temple. So once you get there, uh, Lunaris Temple is a great place to get some extra XP and it's also a great place to get a ton of loot. Uh, Piety drops uh, a ton of rares now, really really good. She also has a 50% chance to drop a 66 map. You, get, you join up with either a Lunaris farming group or you just do Lunaris runs by yourself getting a lot of XP and loot in the process and this is a good way to get yourself geared up for maps as well. You're going to start building up that base of 66s. After, you know, 20, 30 runs or something like that, you're going to have, you know, approximately 15 maps. Now, add it on to what you've already found, hopefully you'll have at least 3 rows of 66 maps. And this is probably what I recommend to start off with. Now. Let's talk about the idea of building the base. Building your base of maps is about giving yourself enough 67s and enough 68s to start getting into the level 70 maps. So what happens in a map is if you're playing a level 66 map and you kill a rare mob, it has a chance at dropping a 68 map. It's pretty low chance, but it is a chance. As you can see, I've got a number here of 67 maps here, and I've got a number of 68 maps that I've been doing here. What I'm actually doing currently in the game in Nemesis is rebuilding my map base. I uh, got a little bit greedy before, and I didn't quite do it what I think is the correct way. So what I did was I did some 66s, I did some ones that I felt were fun, just did a few, built up a few, uh, I built up a few 67s, built up a few 68s, and I managed to, uh, you know, do those maps and get, even get into the 70s and even did a few 71 maps. However, I didn't build a strong enough base and I built up this really skinny and kind of uh, dangerous tower that ended up toppling over. And as you can see now, I'm back into 66s uh, trying to rebuild my base because I don't have any more 69s, uh, 70s or 71s or anything like that to continue my end game map progression. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really build up a solid base and that's what I want you guys to to, uh, take away from this is building up this solid base. So, how do we do this? Firstly, we make sure we've got at least three rows of 66s. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to do 66s back to back. S level 66 maps are crap experience. They're also crap loot. They're pretty much not good. They're kind of fun to run. They're kind of fun to run. They're not particularly dangerous most for the most part, but uh, they're just not very good loot or XP. So you want to make sure you're running them when you're getting the maximum possible loot and XP bonus uh, benefits to your character from them possible. And that's when you're not too high a level. My mistake was, as I said, building a skinny tower, not building up a solid enough base. And now that I'm at level 81 running 66 maps, I'm not getting any experience. I've done about... 10-15 uh, maps and I've only got 3 bars of experience here, so you want to do those 66 maps when you're actually getting some significant benefit from them. So I should have run them back to back until I had a really really so solid base of 67s and 68s to launch off of. 
So, yeah, maybe when I had two rows of 67s and at least one full row of 68, I could have considered moving forwards. But uh, I've learned my lesson. I'm back to doing the 66s now and trying to build up that base, trying to get those 68 maps so I can start uh, catapulting myself forward into the 70s and hopefully keeping that map RNG going and progressing through the endgame map system. It's tricky, but if you spend enough time building, doing all of those 66s back to back when you're getting the most benefit from it, you're going to be able to do okay. So... To close things off, let's actually roll some maps. Now, I like to uh, do all of the same type of map map back to back. As you can see, I rolled a bunch of dried lakes here, and these are the ones I'm going to do next. I like to stick to the outdoorsy ones first. Uh, they're usually a bit faster and easier to run. So, dried lakes is really nice. Tropical islands really nice. Dungeon isn't very good. Uh, overgrown ruin is okay-ish. I don't like it as much as well. Uh, and there's an, at least one other good one. I think Dunes is pretty good as well. Pretty good and fast to run. So let's roll these tropical island maps and I'll talk about what map mods you want to try and aim for on 66 maps. So let's go over to our currency tab and we'll go ahead and transmute these guys and talk about what mods we get. Okay, areas in inhabited by the undead really not uh, that good for us 40 percent magic monsters monsters cannot be stunned this is a good one to run this has a high percentage more magic monsters roll when you're running 66s uh, the biggest thing you're trying to do is get upgrades you don't want to just get more 66s so if you roll maze or map size or just some sort of item quantity mod uh, on your 66 maps you're not really going to have that many chances at getting an upgrade you might have slightly increased increased chances but your upgrades are going to come from magic monsters so blue monsters and they're going to come from rare monsters, so yellow monsters. So we want to try and get as many of those in the maps as possible. So more magic monsters and more rare monsters are great mods to roll, and this is a good map. I'm happy to leave this in there. So even though it only has, you know, 15% item quantity, uh, we're probably going to have good chances at maps from that 40% more magic monsters. Let's see what else we have. 75 monster cold resist, that isn't actually too bad for me since I deal fire damage. Players are cursed with Enfeeble, that's terrible, terrible. We don't want to spend forever running 66 maps and Enfeeble slows you down by a ton, at least 25%. So we're going to reroll that. Minus max resist, reflect damage, that has high item quantity, we could probably run that. If you get an over 40 item quantity then it's probably worth running. The really important thing for maps also is to not spend too much currency on them. I've already spent one alteration, one transmute on that, and it's a decent roll, very high item quantity, so I'm probably just going to stick with that and hope we get some uh, good, hope we get some good map drops. Uh, reflect physical damage, we could probably augment this and see what else we get. Uh, minus max resist. Max resist. Uh, that's a pretty bad pretty bad one. I'm going to see if I can get a better one here. Chain's okay to run. Generally not too dangerous. Vulnerability is pretty risky. I'm not a big fan of running vulnerability. I've had some pretty bad ones with that. Here we go. Here's a more magic monsters roll. We'll augment that. Uh, reflect physical is fine. Cool, so there's three good ones. What else have we got here? Inhabited by skeletons is not going to help us at all. And in fact, skeletons take forever to... Uh, to destroy because they often spawn with necros. Inhabited by bandits and chaos damage. Uh, this is a really cheap map. We've only spent one currency item on it so far. And these, it isn't very hard, so it'll be a quick run. We can probably run that. So I've got some magic ones in there. It'd be nice to roll some rare mods or some rare mobs or something like that. But these are all, you know, reasonably high item quantity or very fast. This is a very fast one to run. Or it has more magic monsters. 66s are super disposable, so don't don't feel bad about uh, quickly running through them because you're more than likely going to get more 66s from your 66 maps or from your higher level maps as well. So don't feel bad about throwing them away. However, just as a tip moving forwards, as we start doing our 67s and 68s, that's when we want to start really carefully uh, thinking about what we're rolling on our maps to try and progress forwards, trying to get more of those magical monsters, trying to maze them, trying to increase their size, trying to get really good mods on them and investing a bit more into them so we can keep, uh, keep things rolling along. Anyway, hopefully you guys have found this helpful. This is the bit of the theory behind trying to uh, progress through the map system. It can be tricky, and sometimes you just have a string of bad RNG and you just get nowhere. But other times, it's a lot of fun. You get into high in the level maps and get some sick loots and uh, some sick XP. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.